Hey, how are you doing? So my last video went out to shoot the super cool Polo GDI that's owned by a friend of mine. And today we're gonna edit these photos. So let's jump straight into Lightroom. So over here, I already imported two of my favorite pictures from that day and let's start the edit. So usually I start or I categorize the steps of the edit in like three parts. So let's start with the basics. The first thing I do is check if this thing is crooked and in this case it's not, otherwise I would have adjusted it over here. Super simple. Then I'm gonna head over to the lens correction. I'm gonna remove the chromatic aberration and enable profile correction. This just makes the picture look more natural and less distorted. And then I'm gonna start with the tone curve. Very simple. Just add like these three points over here. Add another one up there and down there. Usually I start by limiting like the shadows and the highlights. And as you can see, there aren't really a lot of midtones, so I'm gonna bring those up. I'll bring up the shadows as well. Bit. And I think I'm gonna bring down the highlights a little bit. This little before and after, just from the tone curve. So next I'm gonna do some basic adjustments. It's a bit underexposed, so I'm gonna bring up the exposure a tad bit. Not too much, just a little bit. I'm gonna add some contrast. Plus four looks good. I'm gonna bring down the highlights a bit, bring up the shadows, bring the whites a bit up, just a tad, and bring the blacks down a bit and add some clarity, not too much, just a little bit. Okay, so that's really like step one of my editing process. So let's move over to step two. Details, and I'm gonna press option, and then I can mask out the details I want to be sharpened. I'm gonna put it over here. Okay, add some sharpening, it's okay. Then I'm gonna go over to color grading, go to the shadows. Since this is shot at sunset, I'm gonna bring like these more sunsetty tones, more like these oranges and yellows into this picture. So I'm gonna here, this, don't want to overdo it, because then it's going to look kind of weird. Mid-tones, orangey tones, not too much. Then I'm going to, the shadows, I'm going to tone it down. Maybe even bring them to like a slight colder tone. Oh, like this, like a slight colder tone. Tones a bit warmer and the highlights also a bit warmer. Let's see the before and after. I like that. It's subtle and not really too much. And then I'm gonna bring up the white balance a bit to make it more sunsetty. Don't want to overdo it though. I think like this is good. Okay. Next thing is going to be the HSL color. Since this is a black car and not blue, I can desaturate the blues. Even though this is a sunset photo, most of the time like the blues from the sky get caught in the paint. And since this is a black car, I can easily do it. If it's a blue car, it's obviously you can't really just desaturate the blues. I'm also going to desaturate the aquas because they, as you can see, if you look at the windscreen, uh, windshield, almost always lands on the windshield. So I'm gonna desaturate that as well. So this concludes step two, like the before and after for step two. I usually do step one and two with one of my presets. They're not for sale currently, I'm still developing them, but I think they're gonna be for sale sometimes this year. So keep an eye out for that. So let's move on to step three, and that's gonna be masks. Masks play such a huge role in my editing, especially since Lightroom made them so much better and so much easier to use. So let's start with a select subject. It's just gonna select the subject easily and just masks it out perfectly. 
So I'm just gonna press O to hide it and then I'm gonna bring up the shadows. A bit like this. And I'm gonna bring up the highlights a bit and the whites a bit. This is gonna make the color more prominent in the picture and as you can see, it just makes the card pop more and recover some details. But I think I'm gonna bring up the shadows a bit more. So I think like this, add a little bit of contrast. I think that looks good. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so next thing is gonna be the select sky. And that's done a perfect job. So I'm just gonna recover the highlights and bring out more of the detail of the sunset. I'm gonna bring up the white balance of that too. Like this, like that. Bring out the whites. This is one of my favorite features of the Select Sky, it makes such a big difference. When you look at it without Select Sky, with it makes the photos way better. Next up, we're gonna add a linear gradient. So we're gonna bring that from the ground up. Because we don't want the car in this gradient, we're just gonna press minus, deselect subject. It's done a fairly good job, but I think I'm gonna have to take the brush out. So I'm gonna bring the brush and brush out the, the lip of the car. I'm gonna press O to hide it again. And then we're gonna bring down the exposure to bring the focus more to the car. Maybe the car is a bit too, too much. It looks kind of out of place, it's too prominent. So I'm gonna bring down the shadows and I'm gonna bring up the overall exposure a bit. Like this. I think that looks more natural. I'm gonna check. Okay, I'm gonna keep it like that. This is the before and after, just Lightroom. I'm gonna copy that. I'm not gonna copy the exposure, but I'm gonna copy these masks and I'm gonna bring them over to this picture. I'm just gonna head over here because the masks haven't really applied. So I'm gonna select subject here. I'm gonna have to delete that. This is like the ground gradient and update the select sky and select subject. I'm gonna bring up the overall exposure a bit and I'm gonna bring up the shadows of the car a bit. So that's it. And I usually repeat this exact process with every of my pictures. So now that I have like the before and after, as you can see, Super easy. Really, the masks make such a big difference. So that's it for Lightroom. Now I'm gonna bring these over to Photoshop and I'm just gonna remove all of this dirt and stuff that's lying around on the floor. So this is the before and the after. As you can see, this makes a huge difference. It really doesn't take a lot of time. It took me like three or four minutes now. Just not like all this trash lying around. It really goes a long way. And if you watched last week's video, you're gonna know that I also shot a video, so let's jump into Premiere Pro and I'm gonna show you what I did with that. So this is really a simple edit. If you follow me on Instagram, you've probably already seen the video and I'm not gonna be able to show you the whole video in here because I imported the sound from Instagram and I really don't know if it's copyrighted or not and I really don't wanna risk a claim for this. So this is really simple. I just filmed everything in 50 frames per second, slowed it down by 50% and then I took the clips I like the most and put them into the timeline. And over here I marked all of the spots where I wanted to cut and where I wanted the video to change. Took all these videos, the ones I like the most, and put them in an order that I find aesthetically pleasing. So very simple. This is all shot in S-Log3. This is ungraded and this is graded. So that's what I did to create this reel. If you want me to do deep dive video into my reels process from planning all the way up to publishing the video, then go ahead and comment that down below. I would gladly do this for you. 
And that's basically it. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. And then I'm going to see you next week. Bye.